The reason why I'm making this video is to tell people that there is a hell. If there was not a hell, Jesus Christ wouldn't be the, the main one to preach about hell. Jesus Christ preached about hell in Matthew at least about 41 times. He said, weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Bible says the worm dieth not. A place of darkness. You try to tell me that hell does not exist? There's a place called hell. wrote a book and glory to God and you'll see a copy of it on my on my page as I mentioned the word hell hell is not on earth hell is not on earth and hell is not mythology hell is not fable hell is not just a cuss word but hell is a actual place that the Bible talk about in, in Revelation 12 chapter verse 13. It says that death and hell can be cast into the lake of fire. This is a second death. If, if it name not written in the book, hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people that hell is real. Hell is the existence of hell. And if you don't believe in hell, that means you are living in sin by you not believing in him. Jesus Christ say in Mark, Mark 16, verse 16, He that believeth and baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So if you don't believe in hell, you are damning yourself. Because the Bible say that if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sin. If you die in your sin, you're going to hell. And then you're going to be cast in the lake of fire for a spend for eternity. So hell is not a place where you're going to burn and turn to ashes. And I said, no, you're going to be in this place for eternity. Because a rich man, in Luke, the 16th chapter, verse 20, it says that he lifted up his eyes in hell, being in torment. So this rich man, hey, glory to God, he sees in hell, he tastes in hell, he remembering hell and guess what he trying to tell somebody to to rise from the dead and tell his brothers his five brethren don't come to this place called hell so he trying to tell me that hell does not exist there's an existence of hell and you know something churches or organization that don't believe in hell let me tell you a few hey glory to god just i'll just name one of them jehovah witness Jehovah Witness don't believe that hell exists. Never the ones, but there's a place called hell. Whether you believe it or not, hell is an actual place. Hey, glory to God. Don't be like Carlton Person. Don't be like John P. King. Don't be like people that try to turn their life by saying God is too merciful to send people to hell. Does he? The Bible say he glory to God. In John 3, 16, he said, that he, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So to perish is hell. Eternal life is to be in heaven. And even eternal life is, you're going to spend the rest of your life in hell because of some sex. In hell because of marriage. In hell because of being a transgender. Decide whose side you're going to be on. Satan's side to damn you to hell or God's side, Jesus Christ's side. And you're going to be in a second heaven and a second earth. Hey, glory to God. Right now, right there, right now, there's a place. Hey, glory to God. Whether it's none of your business where it's located. You might say the depth of the earth. You might say in distant places. Hell is not a state of mind. Hell is not a condition on earth. You can't fathom saying that this is hell. This is not hell because a rich man in hell, he says, send Lazarus to dip a tip of his water to cool my tongue because I'm in this place of torment. Hey, glory to God. So the Bible said the table was turned. You are tormented while Lazarus is comforted. So people that don't believe in hell, they don't believe in heaven. 
and don't believe in a heavenly father. Because a heavenly father want us to escape hell. The devil's destiny is for you to not believe in him. That's why there's a lot of churches coming up. Especially the seeker's church. The seeker's church don't believe in hell. And you will never hear, glory to God, T.D. Jakes, you never hear people like, glory to God, Joe Osteen, talk about hell. Because it's a place called hell. You can escape hell by you repenting, by you believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, by you receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, by baptizing in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost to escape hell. So, my friend, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ's teaching on hell, you should close the Bible and say you don't believe in God. Because people that believe in God believe in hell. People that believe in God believe in heaven. And everybody is not going to heaven. If you don't believe in, in hell, you can't believe in heaven. Because heaven was made for God's righteous people. And then they get to receive their crown. And then they go to new heaven. And hell was made for the devil and his angel, but people are decided to follow the devil, so they're going to hell. It's not for you to go to hell. God's decision was, glory to God, for God so loved you that he gave, he sent his son, his son to die on the cross so you can escape hell. But people decided not to listen to Jesus Christ. They listened to Satan, so they're going to hell. And now, Carlton Pearson get a lot of people believe in inclusion by saying that God is too merciful to send people to hell. God don't send people to hell. People decided to go to hell because they don't want to be holy. They'd rather be a homosexual or a lesbian or a transgender. Go to God. By you being these things, my friend, you signed a ticket to go to hell. But you can unsign the ticket and say, Father, forgive me for what I've done. Make me into a new creature, new creation. The Bible says, if any man being Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things become new. So God wants you to be new. God wants you to be born again. Hey, glory to God. Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night. And Jesus Christ tell him, you must be born again to see the kingdom. And was born of the water and the Holy Spirit to enter into the kingdom. Marvel not that I send to thee, you must be born again. There's a place called hell. Don't believe the organizations. Don't believe the false prophet or the prosperity prophets or preachers tell you that there's no place called hell. This is hell right now. No wrong answer. Hell is not here. But hell is waiting for the wicked or those that turn their back on God. There's a place call hell for witches, whoremongers, liars, cowards, unbelievers, whore, or those who abuse themselves with mankind, these people are going to hell.